another cook with me vlog i hope that you enjoyed the last video if you have not seen the last video i will leave the link down in the description box below or somewhere um in the eye tonight i will be making another Publix apron meal y'all know i love Publix just as much as i love tarjay honey i was moseying down the aisle minding my own business dragging my kids and toe telling them to not touch that you know what i'm talking about because they want to touch everything and please do not hang over the basket like your name is jack from titanic I tell them all the time, you are not immortal, okay? I got your invisible superhero cape, half off of zero dollars on clearance at Target. So today, we were in the store, we tried this delicious meal, another thing that I love about Publix. Publix, how you with Publix? So while we're in the store, both of the boys really enjoyed this meal. I'm gonna make a bit you are so distracted, you guys. Julian is literally standing over there like miming and mimicking me right now because he wants to help cook. So I'm gonna yeah. let him do a couple of things tonight. So now Max wants to help, dear God. You know what? I want to minimize the amount of lovely God-given germs that the Lord gave people under the age of 30. You know, who don't wash their hands all the time. Hello, I am back. Pick but I will still. come back because I have to wash my hands. I'll come back. You guys are going to help me rinse the shrimp. Okay, cool. So, back to what I was saying. Bye-bye. Bye. So, anyway, I'm going to be making the Creole shrimp saute. My boys tried it in the store. They loved it. However, they were like, it's made on the shrimp, mommy. Can you put chicken in it? So, I'm going to alter it just a bit. But I will leave the original recipe and the link to Publix, to any video Publix may have of the original recipe. Also, I think you could probably make this a vegan meal by just substituting every type of thing that has eyeballs and tentacles and legs and says, mommy, in its own creature language. You know what I'm talking about? You can substitute that with some portobello mushrooms. However, I think portobello mushrooms have souls too. Cause they're maybe. Anyway, let's get this meal started. I will show you the ingredients that I will be using today. Chicken, shrimp, scampi sauce, turkey sausage, lemon, diced tomatoes, Italian parsley, garlic, Angel hair pasta. I have no idea. Wine or chicken broth. And red pepper flakes. Yum. Okay, so now that you guys have the ingredients, I am going to put my boys to work and have them defrost the scrum. So, guys, grab the bag of shrimp, please. Oh, yeah, I just have to say this episode we call Cooking with. Chef Mom, Chef Julian, and Chef Maximus today. Come on down, Max. Chefs today. Also, if you hear something in the background, that's just the twins watching Angry Birds. Right. Step. Just say, uh, Whoa. Take for 10 minutes. Uh, Bring water to boil for pasta. Okay, cook pasta and prepare shrimp. Wait. Okay. Okay. Okay, wait, okay, wait. We're having a difficult problem. Rinse the bowl out. No, Izzy, you won't be helping. Go take this to the sink. I just had to have a talk with him, y'all. It's my kitchen. Fill that bowl up halfway. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Halfway. So we're going to go by the directions a little. It says bring water to boil for pasta. While the water is coming to a boil, we're gonna chop the parsley. Squeeze lemon for juice, about one tablespoon. And then cut the bacon, which we are going to be substituting for the butterball turkey sausage, right here. We have filled the pot all the way. So if it's too full, then the water will just boil everywhere and it'll make a big old mess. Yeah, and chop the parsley. So you might want to get a knife or the parsley and squeeze the lemon for juice. Do you have a lemon squeeze? Listen, and I'm going to let Julian do the pizza cutter across. So it's just back and forth, back and forth. 
No hands involved except one arm. Okay? Do you got that, Julie? Yes, I do. Chef All right. Mom. Okay, so first things first is. Oh, you so strong, Matt. Uh oh, yes. my bad. It's okay. I'm good. Okay, good. Now, Julian. We also have buddies. If you're a fifth grade, you're gonna feed the buddies outside the carriages for sale. So I'm calling for close you. Yeah. Maybe we should bring the leftover parsley. You can take it. Yeah, they love parsley. That would be so nice. They, okay. The buddies love parsley. So all you're gonna do, because mommy will wash it after you're done, just roll it back and forth. So, so I start from here or here? Whichever way you wanna go, you just roll it back and forth. Watch In the out for middle. Your hands. Don't do this if you're an adult, you guys. Yeah. Don't try to help keep yourself. Or if you want to do it a quicker way, put this down and just pick it apart like this. Just tear it from mom. Yeah. Can I tear it? No, I think we should use this, the hand technique. Okay. Just tear it. I want to do it. Can okay, Maxim and Selfie tear it? Sure, why not? All right. I think the lady at Publix was using her hand too, remember? Yeah. She actually was using a mincer. She put it in a machine and it makes it really like fine and chopped. So yesterday guys, we went fishing for the first time on the pier. What was the most exciting thing about fishing, Maximus? That Jordan, me, and Mommy got to fish. He tried to catch some birds on the pier, y'all. I can't do yeah. that. Paper towels up there. Wait, like, into it, like, like that. And then wait again. So I had to leave. It's a, oh, we never caught even one, one fish. Little. Not even one. Not one single fish. Not, not, not one single <laughs> So Julian is squeezing a second lemon because I always have to make double portions because I've got a big family. So we're doing double lemon because I want it to be extra saucy. Okay, extra saucy and good. I'm going to go ahead and start the noodles. I added olive oil to my water. I don't know, what do you add? Uh-oh, this thing is probably. I add olive oil to my water. I don't like a salty, salty brine. I don't like salty, salty noodles, but I do like noodles that don't stick. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay. Okay, oh my gosh. Ow! Darn you, tripod. Where my tripod hates me sometimes. I do treat it bad. I feel like it comes to life like that movie, the toaster movie when I was a kid. So anyway, I've got everything cooking. I kicked my kids out of my kitchen, y'all, because they were doing the most. Well, not Julian, not Julian. <laughs> Maximus. I love him. I love him. So what I got going on now is um, I let my chicken rest. It was a pretty big piece of chicken. I let it rest, then I sliced it, and then I said I wanna make sure it's all the way done. I don't like to overcook a big piece of chicken, but I like to make sure it's done, like just to that moisture part, but I like to let it rest, cut it to make sure it's done, and stick it back on the oven because I'm dealing with my kids and myself. Who wants salmonella? <laughs> Not me, darling. Anyway, I've got the sausage um, already like, I like my sausage very like charred. Burnt, but not burnt, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I added the shrimp in as the direction said, after you cook your bacon slash sausage, add your shrimp in for one minute, and then what we're gonna do is open the wine, baby. I think I'm gonna put some wine in a cup and chill it really fast to eat it with. Mm. Good time. I don't know how much wine it said add, 
but I'm opening it up right now. I don't want my shrimp to overcook. Shrimp, when you overcook them, they taste really rubbery. Ooh, hello, okay. How much wine does it call for? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, three fourth cup. All right, so it says stir in tomatoes, wine. I'm gonna put the wine in just to deglaze the pan. I think I'm adding too much, but hey, whatever. I want it saucy. I put the pepper flakes on it. I left it out of the recipe because you know the kids don't like spicy. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of on top and give it a taste. Well, who am I? <laughs> you guys have already tasted it. It's flipping delicious. I'm just saying. And the kids love it too. Get down, Julian. How does it taste, Izzy? Good? The sausage is delicious. The chicken is like the best part. <laughs> Jojo is my pickiest eater of them all. You just never know what we're gonna get with Jojo. Hmm, but she likes the noodles. She may not eat the chicken or the sausage cause she's picky. Izzy happens to be the meat eater. Not so much Jojo, but she's eating it, so it must I be good. It. You love it? Mmm, bite it. Mmm. Make this and let me know if you love it just as much as my kids love it.